My name is Anthony Artisoni. I'm actually a Navy reservist. Oh, you are a Navy reserve yes. now? Yes, but this is unaffiliated with the reserves. This is just my personal collection. Is this a store? Are you no. selling things? Uh, this is a nonprofit group. Um, I belong with the California Historical Group. And I'm also a Marine Historical Company. So they're providing the Marine uniforms that you see behind me here. And then I provided the Navy uniforms over here on the left. Where do these sit ordinarily? Uh, in my, my personal location, my house. So I try to bring these out every, every chance I can to kind of teach a history, uh, showcase the uniforms from back in the day, and talk about Navy history uh, with sailors and the public. What kind of reaction do you get when you come out on a, an occasion like this? Uh, the reactions I usually get out here are uh, anywhere from just kind of fascination to see what guys wore back in the day, especially in the 1940s. And I also get uh, a lot of veterans who come up who say, oh man, I haven't seen this stuff since I got out. I threw all my old uniforms out or I still have my old jumpers. So I get a lot of like uh, nostalgia as well as just um, learning and, and fascination. This stuff is available in military surplus stores. The stuff is starting to dwindle a little bit from the stores. eBay's kind of changed a lot of that. So a lot of online auctions are kind of the the way to find things now. Um, sometimes you'll have um, families who've had veterans kind of pass or just don't want the stuff in the garage and sometimes I'll inherit some of that stuff that way or I'll buy it off them. But usually online auctions, kind of the easiest, quickest way, not the cheapest way. Some of the stuff is reproduction as well. Like the, the pants I'm wearing today are actually faithful reproductions of World War II dungaree uh, jeans. So uh, there's actual companies who reproduce this for the film industry, for the reenactment and living history groups. Um, sometimes they do them for a museum as well. They'll set up nice displays for that. Um, sometimes the, the old stuff is just hard to find and it's brittle. It's really hard to display. So it's safer to use reproductions. It still sends the message across, gets the look across, but then I'm not worried about trashing something antique.